Oh, so I don't know if you saw this. Um, I was catching up some of uh, Elijah's shows this week. He's um, You Are Here, as well as Slightly Offensive. And he had on there, uh, I forget her first name, but it's she. she's uh, an ex, or I, I shouldn't say ex, because she does have a, an OnlyFans that she does post um, nude News. images of herself, but she's a, a porn star. Her last name is L Lovia. And there was, uh, they, the first uh, show that I saw was You Are Here, so it was with Sydney, and they were just talking about the nature of, of the business and what's really happened uh, with it and what, what do they see as being um, good or bad about it and how do we see that affecting our nation's youth and I guess just people on the psychological spectrum as a whole. Mm. And uh, I I didn't watch much more of it because it seemed like there was too much of a glamorization of um, pornography. But I did watch today, or uh, listen to rather, his episode of Slightly Offensive because he had on there uh, inside, uh, I guess what would be fourth chair, Yako Buyans. And Yako, he operates here inside the DFW area. He works, he has, um, essentially his, his, uh, his job is freeing people who are stuck in the sex trafficking trade, um, who are either being trafficked by a pimp or by a family member or who uh, are trafficking themselves. He uh, helps battered women, battered children, and uh, he really is a, a powerful force. He's also an ordained minister, um, and he takes a very, very hard, hard and firm stance against pornography. Um, as pornography is the only drug that actually rewires your brain. It actually, it, it does um, brain damage that, uh, if you could kind of put a, a finer point on uh, the damage it causes, is it sets you back literally to um, a semi-infantile state in your mind. It really inhibits your brain growth and it does alter your brain's chemistry. And um, he was, it was a pretty decent little little back and forth that him and uh, Lovia had on uh, on the show. It was, they both made some, what I would, what I would uh, have to uh, concede are some good points. And there were some good firm places where Yako stood and said, you know, I gotta disagree with you on this. Um, but they were both very respectful of each other. And Lovia, she was, uh, she was, I believe, a, a porn star for, I think, seven years. And then I believe she's been out of um, the professional porn world for, I think, seven years as well. She does have her, her OnlyFans um, that she does put up content on as well. Uh, so I wouldn't say that she's retired, but from the, the career that she did have when she was having to work for, uh, for, for other people, other producers, um, that part of her career is over and done with. Um, but it was a, a very insightful conversation, and it's it really strikes at um, a really unfortunate fact about people in our day and age, and I guess more to the point, uh, younger generation, um, younger boys, and it's the readily accessible and all too easily accessible porn that is out there and beyond just like the vanilla entry level guy girl stuff all the really really um just crazy gonzo stuff that is out there that for for so many kids nowadays their first experience with seeing pornography or seeing uh seeing smut films is something that is um really quite taboo even inside the industry whether it be something um something of like of like a group nature or an abusive kind of video where this girl is once the cameras are off she's leaving black and blue um yeah really really hardcore stuff like that and it's the accessibility of it that has really really um done so much damage especially to people who maybe it was a kid who you know, he, he learns of a term or something in school, and he goes and punches in on YouTube, and next thing you know, he's watching some insanely graphic stuff that is... Crushing. 
<laughs> yeah, crushing. Some insanely graphic stuff that is on YouTube, because uh, people don't, a lot of people don't realize this, there are literally thousands of pornographic videos on YouTube. Um, oh, really? Thousands. Looks like I'm gonna have to do some scientific some, research. Uh, market research there. <laughs> Yeah, there there are thousands. Purely for scientific purposes. A pornographic. Believe you me, there. you sir, there is no. I get drive no pleasure from this. <laughs> this is a, a job that I must do. No, um, but and and so that that brings up uh, another issue. And part of it felt to me like Lovia was kind of moving the, not moving the goalpost oh, as it were, but she was kind of shifting the conversation more to a broader umbrella over the whole topic. Um, because yes, on the on the one hand. I guess you have to really look for it, Ron. You can address uh, the porn as a whole. You can say, you know, it's its effects on society. It's effects on for a lot of uh, for a lot of guys, erectile dysfunction. Guys who are who have been so desensitized from either self stimulation or just observing way too much uh, pornography, and it's ruined their ability to reach sexual congress when they're actually with, say, their fiance or their girlfriend or their wife um, it's really really unfortunate but it's happening more and more in so many uh, younger men and there's more young men on um, on pills like extends or Viagra or Cialis right now to help with their dysfunction than there ever have been which is uh, it really should not be that way and so one of the things that Lovi was talking about was that she even though you know she she feels of course differently to the whole porn field than even Yako did, the one thing that she was adamant about is that she says you you Google my name now and that stuff is out there forever. I I I don't have the power to get all those images and videos taken down that have been filmed of me. Um, and Yako's like, yeah, you know, you're absolutely right. It, it is out there forever. Um, and so she says so. What she's really concerned with is not allowing this the smut to be accessed by so many young individuals and putting it behind the proper paywalls that it needs to be behind. Well, that's funny because my OnlyFans was not intended for... Yeah, I think my OnlyFans is what the um, cameo is... is uh, I, think, I, think, I feel like OnlyFans was... Was intended to be what Cameo is now, essentially. Well, that was the whole thing, was that at one point, my OnlyFans said, yeah, we're going to get rid of all pornography. Everybody freaked out. But they said originally, before they pussied out, they uh, they originally said that this wasn't what it was intended for. And it's like, stick to your guns, then. Yeah, well, and, and that's... That's what, t like, everyone got butt hurt when Tumblr got dropped, but, you know, when you have kitty porn on there... Of course it's gonna yeah and there's there is a an absurd amount of kitty porn on Twitter itself which is just disgusting but um and and Yako was was able to sympathize with her on that and says you know I, I do agree it's like you know this this is you know, essentially your job and if it can be placed behind a paywall he says you know that uh, that 18 year old um, that 18 year old uh, age threshold he says I'm I'm fine you know that yeah, yes, that that's fine. He says I do. I don't want kids getting a hold of this stuff. And more or less, it came down to he says, look, we we can address what this does to the human brain, what this does to marriages or love lives. Um, but it seemed like the conversation was really kind of zeroed in on uh, disallowing access to kids who really should not see this stuff um, and should have it explained to them by their parents what actual real intimacy is. Um, well, it's a lot of the stuff that, that, you know, people get their kinks and that stuff off of mm -hmm. different stuff, but with porn, there's not really, it's a false consent value because they're getting paid, but of course the whole acting yeah like okay so well, like the this thing, point of view stuff it's this contrived yeah. conceived intimacy yeah and when yeah when it's yeah con exactly and you know, so hopefully parents are explaining it's like look man humans get their gollies off in some weird way some of it uh, yeah, yeah that's actually a chemical thing that you do sort of thing well also there's Inside. What the fuck? That's crazy. So, 
strange. Yeah. I need to go tame some strange. So like in in the world of, of pornography, you have like I guess if you could lump it into two groups, there's the more actual like intimate kind of side of it, but then there's also the more performative side. And people look at that and they get an unrealistic expectation of what sex should be, what physical intimacy should be. And so many people, they, um, because of that, they're unable to either uh, enjoy sex with their partner to the fullest extent, you know, their wife or their husband, um, or they're unable to be aroused and in the moment and actually be able to, uh, to, uh, what's the word? Appreciate the gravity of the act that's now taking place because what they've seen is an unrealistic standard that can't be met. They see, you know, th this group of college co-eds, which doesn't just happen in real life. They see everybody there is having a good time. Everybody's having fun. Nobody's having a bad time. Um, and it paints this image inside their, their minds that they're now chasing. They're just at a bad party. <laughs> well... You just gotta find where the freaks are. But I know that it, especially like back in college, when suddenly you're out on your own, and you say you go to way to school, you're out here on your own, and you're, it's like the first time for a lot of us that you're now pretty much your own master. Yeah, a lot of Weird us did. A lot of us did, a lot of us do, but. You're the one setting your bedtime now. You're the one deciding what you eat. You're the one deciding what your entertainment is. And it's really super easy to go down that slope and um, take a jaunt into some areas that you need not uh, be messing around with. And it, it's all it's all too easy to do. Way too easy. So, I know that not all the not viewers are the... Uh, that of uh, of the faith but even for those who who are more secular minded i i would encourage you to take a take a real a real hard look at some of the some of the things that you you are inundated with. um and see what, what you really put stock into it see see where where inside your life you do find the desensitivities whether it be to violence like i mean as we play this violent game or it be to things of a sexual nature, or even drug or alcohol use. So while everything is permissible, <laughs> not everything mm -hmm. is acceptable. And not everything should be acceptable. Whether it be for your own welfare or for somebody else.